All right, in this video, we got a 1998 Jeep TJ that has an alternator issue. Trevor has a complaint that when he starts it, the voltage goes up, and then after a couple seconds, the voltage drops off. And he's got like the check gauges light. So we're gonna do a measurement to test if the alternator is indeed failed because the regulator in some of these Jeeps, maybe all of them, is in the computer. So if that's screwed up, then the computer needs to be swapped out, but we're going to measure the voltage and the amps that the alternator may or may not be putting out. So how this is set up is that the positives on the battery terminal, the amp gauge is on the same, and the negative is on the battery. Give us a good connection. So he got set up right there. Right now he's reading 12.66 volts because he charged up his battery before he came over. Trevor's is going inside to start her up. As you can see right there, we're not putting out any amps at all. Voltage has dropped down to 12 volts. We're gonna go inside and have a look. So right now your voltage gauge is reading what? Probably like 11 volts. Rev it up. Yeah, it's running off the battery right now. Reading 12 volts on there. So what we're gonna do now is turn the Jeep off and then we're gonna remove the control cable from the back of the alternator and start it back up. Well, this is where it gets interesting. It seems like Trevor's alternator doesn't have the control wire. It looks like it has a built-in regulator instead. Oh, we just got back from the junkyard and there is the difference between the two alternators right there and this is the style Trevor has. Now the first thing we need to do is remove the new, or it's gonna say neutral, but negative battery terminal. We need to remove that, then we need to remove the belt, which will be loosening the bolt off the idler wheel and then turning that bolt right there to back off the tension. Yeah, pull it off, put it down, so it's not gonna arc out. There we go. Is that the one where you need to put the extra wrench up behind? Yeah, it is. Right there, that bottom bolt. Okay, give her. Tight. I guess you want to turn it out and then flip it so you can get at those electrical connections. And this is why you want to make sure your battery is disconnected. Now, if you had AC, this would be a bigger pain in the butt. Now what we need to do in this alternator, there's two little bolts right there that are six millimeter. The two on the outside are 10. That's a 10 mil as well, remove those. And then the wiring harness is disconnected from the alternator. Yeah, those ones would break really easy by tightening them. Yeah, once you break it free, it's usually easier to spin it off by hand. Let's just pull right off now. Bingo. And remove the alternator. All right, we've got the junkyard donor one we're gonna stick in now. Kind of get her in a spot where you can turn it properly so you can get all your connections on. And make sure those wires are on those tabs. This is where you wanna be careful not to lose any of those little small nuts especially those number sixes, because then you're going to have a real bad day. All the connections on the alternator on. you got to be very careful, like I said, with these ones right here, because they can bust off easy, so don't go retard tight on those. Once everything's connected, always make sure, once again, is make sure your negative battery post is disconnected. That way, when you take this positive wire off, you're not going to arc it off or anything. Now it's just a matter of installing the alternator back in its holding bracket, put on the belt. I don't like these tensioners, and then we'll be ready to test it out. This will be the moment of truth, see if it works or not, if there's something else wrong.
Yeah, start her up. Oh yeah, it's running right there. Putting out 70 amps, 13.8 volts. All right, well, I'm going to end the video there of troubleshooting and replacing the alternator in Trevor's 97, 98 Jeep TJ with a junkyard fix alternator because the one he got was from a year newer and it's totally different. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.